<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a that's a whole another so this TJ uh, yeah, thing yeah. is a bummer. That's yeah. a bummer. If you you don't know what we're talking about, TJ Dillashaw tested positive for injectable EPO, which is a serious performance enhancing substance, and it, in some circumstances, according to Jeff Nowitzki, it's given people strokes. Um, and I had heard this too that like young guys doing like Tour de France type shit would have strokes because mm -hmm. they were taking too much EPO. Because, you know, like if you're supposed to take one, take two, fuck it. Right, right, beat right, 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 right. That's uh -huh. the mentality that's, that's those the mentality. Savages. Anybody yeah. who's going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that, you know. I that mean, shit turns your, your, your blood to paint. And I think that's, the, I guess that's probably the discipline, right, of how people were always getting away with things beforehand, right, is mm -hmm. to try to uh, maybe try to do it in a way where they uh, won't get caught. But I think that's like, oh, if, if this much is good, then yes. this much more is going to be better. and. Yeah, yeah, and we know guys who've done that with TRT. You know, there was a few TRT tests where they, when TRT was legal, testosterone mm -hmm. replacement therapy, um, where you would hear about guys testing like 1400s, 1470, like, which is insane. It's like superhuman. No person's ever lived that has 1400, uh, like as a, a natural walking around testosterone level. That's crazy, hyperhuman. Right. But they just get these benefits from that. Well, some of these people, though, who walk around naturally, I wonder if they've never been tested, though. That's true. Yeah. Right. Some of these people I see walking around, I'm like, Genetic man. freaks. Yeah, that yeah. dude looks like he was born on steroids. Yeah. Man. There are some freaks, man. Yeah. Just some legit genetic freaks. To deny that would be crazy. There's some people that just, like, Yoel Romero. I mean, yeah. what in the fuck? It doesn't matter how many steroids you take. It doesn't matter what you do. Mm -hmm. Like, to do look like that, you have to be a genetic freak. Yeah, you know? and, they're, and they're out there. Oh, they're, they're walking around. There. It's not fair. Well, yo, I was talking about it. He was saying, go to Cuba. Yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. Go uh, see the jeans. Go see the jeans. Yeah. Go to Cuba. Look around. Yeah, what's his name? Um, what was it? Uh, the uh, fighter from France, the heavyweight from France. I mean, he was. Francis Ngannou? Well, yeah, Francis Ngannou uh, was a uh, guy who used to be the one who had the, the crazy fat with Pat, uh, Pat Berry. Oh, Wait, Czech Congo. Czech Congo, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Adonis. Yeah. Sculpted. Greek statue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's I just always imagine, like, I want to go to him, <laughs> where he comes from. I want to yeah. just take a look around. <laughs> probably super athletes. Yeah. Probably a lot of meat eaters. Mm -hmm. um, the TJ thing, apparently they went and tested his old fight uh, piss with Cody, too. And that tested positive for EPO as well. And then Cody started freaking out. Yeah, that's right. What do you yeah. do if they if they go back? Like, what if they decide to go back, hey, and say, fuck it, let's test all the fights. Mm -hmm. And it finds out that he was doing it like five, six, seven fights. What do you do? Well, yeah, and then what do you do if you, uh, but then it's a whole other can of worms, too. Because, like, all the fights and then what about? All the, because right like are we gonna test everybody yeah, Brendan Schaub yeah. and I were joking around that's last right. night and I was like test them all and he's going no <laughs> I go test them all test everything let's find out let's know what it was let's know what it was and he's like what if they had piss samples from you know 10 years ago 15 years ago like what if they could use USADA style testing today, right, today on people yeah. from the past I'm so glad that all these things are above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah, I man, just, if I was I the guys and, yeah. in the office right now the, in charge of that program, you have to really wonder where is the line. You certainly want to test a guy for a fight that happened a week ago. You certainly want to hold, mm -hmm. you know, and check his, if some new testing methods come out. If there was a, a fight from a year ago, you certainly would check that. How many years back do you go, though? Yeah. Especially if it's not expensive. Like, what if it's easy and cheap to do yeah, a yeah, test? Yeah. So you yeah, just, no, run, just yeah. run 500 tests on the last 500 championship fights. And then you have, like, 400 fights that you now have to, like, change the result of. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, yeah, Last yeah. night I was joking yeah. around. Mm -hmm. I was saying test them all. I was, I was taking the, the fun position. Test them all. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I mean... Look, we all know at one point in time, performance-enhancing drugs were a huge part of mixed martial arts, and that's why the UFC stepped up and decided to institute this program. I think it's a big part of. I think it's a big part of professional sports in general. Sure, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. And I think that um, you know, uh, combat sports, you know, has uh, government oversight that other sports don't have. 
So I think that we're con- we're going to be it's going to be coming up regardless anyway. So I think maybe that's why the U- you know so the UFC took a position right because yeah. I think of the other sports. I mean, guys get caught doing things, but a lot of the other sports regulate themselves, right? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I think the NFL regulates itself. What other sport has a, What other sport has a, a government body thing? like an athletic commission saying, uh, "Hey, we're going to show up and do this or do that"? I don't know. Like, what do they do with baseball? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know much about other sports, but I, I didn't. I've I'm never just heard like of. You. I've never heard. <laughs> I've never heard of like a. We all know about we, we you know that's something different in our sport is Jamie's that the government's fan. involved. We should have do? a commission, but not not a, not like he's saying a government commission. But they just yeah they're governing themselves. The NFL would have a a vote. They hand down a suspension. They're not fair from this this guy's suspension to that guy's suspension. In baseball, they have like a three strike rule. Like the first time is like somewhere in the ten to twenty five game range, and then the second one is like half the season. Mm. Third one, mm-hmm. you're out for a whole year, and if you do it again, you're banned. Yeah, but there's no that. outside government yeah, yeah, yeah. body, it's, right, it's who just, shows up and decides to test exactly. your champion, it's right? Just the, the baseball or NFL mm-hmm. or basketball right. deciding right. What, right. what's the. Well, let's say you have a big money maker in your sport, mm-hmm. and then somebody outside of your company just comes along and says, "Yeah, I'm I'm a government body. I have the right to test this guy." Yeah, like what happened with John Jones? Yeah, I mean. That's that's a perfect example. I mean, the UFC did not want John Jones to test positive. He is the biggest star right now, other than Connor, and Connor's not active. And John Jones is fighting all the time. He wants to fight all the time. That if there, that's but that's the only way you ever find out what's really going on is you hire a bunch of werewolves mm-hmm. and you just l- let them loose. Right. Or right. Let, go check piss. Go, <laughs> go out there. <laughs> Check, check everyone. They checked the shit out of people. I was looking at this uh, list of people that Holly Holmes been tested more than like, I think they, uh, I think Nowitzki might have put it. Oh, Stipe Miocic tweeted it because he'd been tested 38 times. Really? Yeah. Some people, it's like in the 40s. Chris Cyborg got tested a lot. Yeah. And Holly Holmes got tested a lot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Holly Holmes got tested a lot. A lot of people got tested. Um, it's just... Uh, like crazy numbers and a lot of them i guarantee you they're waking them up yeah you know, getting them up like six in the morning that's what that's what i've heard i mean i don't know what they go but i've heard conversations a little bit it doesn't seem like it's <laughs> no they want to make yeah. sure you're there yeah. so they uh-huh. get there really yeah, early. early in the morning but and that's yeah. fucked up and you're, you're supposed training. to tell them where you're supposed to where you're going to be at and think yeah yeah the problem is if you're training hard mm-hmm. that eight to ten is so huge you might get yeah. hit with a punch if they wake you up after like six hours or five hours, it's possible that a punch might connect on you that wouldn't have connected if you got eight. That's not right. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's that's real. That's real. Right. That's real. Everybody knows when you how you feel good in the gym, mm-hmm. and everybody even if you just lift weights, there's days you feel good, there's days you feel like crap. I made right? sure I showed up here well rested. You look well rested, uh-huh. and I'm hydrated. I'm like, did we get bathroom? Excellent. I did. I did hydrate. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just. It's it's just not smart to stop athletes in the middle of their training camp and wake right. them up. Yeah, I mean I get the testing, but I feel like the testing's so sophisticated. You could get to them at noon, okay? Just mm-hmm. you could get to them at noon. You got good testing now. Just but we don't. We I mean I don't know that. I don't know that either. I'm talking shit. Yeah, because I think the best time, <laughs> right? The the best time is that you know. Maybe the earlier, earlier the better, right? Maybe. I don't know. The thing about this EPO, apparently, and this is what uh, Shab was telling me, was that they didn't, it didn't used to be uh, detectable mm-hmm. uh, the way it is now. They've, they've got these new methods of detection. And uh, EPO is one, too, that apparently, from what I've read, don't listen to me, I'm not a doctor, um, they can absolutely tell that you injected it. It's uh, it's injectable. It comes in the injectable form. That's what's in the body. So there's no chance of a tainted steroid or a tainted um, uh, supplement. Right, right. It's definitely EPO. So that's that's fucked up. Because yeah. apparently that stuff has a giant advantage. Um, it gives you an anabolic advantage. It also uh, gives you crazy recu- recuperative powers. So like you could train really hard and then be ready to go the next day. Yeah. What do you think the answer is? Because, like, for me, like, this is all stuff that, like, to be honest, I don't really uh, pay that much attention to it because I don't have, I always, it's out of my wheelhouse to deal with. But also, it's hard to have an answer. Like you said, like, do we go back and keep testing? Then when these new things come, it's just. What do we just, do with the history it's a books? Whole, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just, it's very interesting, you know? Yeah, what do you do with the history books? That's, right. that's what you would say. Like, at what point, if, if you have samples that date back 10 years, do you, do you test them all? Like, what do you do? 
I don't know. I don't know how long they keep samples, or how who has them, or how they mm-hmm. you know what's the chain of command. Um, I don't know, man. It's just, but if you find out that TJ tested positive for the Cody fight too, well, sh- Cody sure has an argument there. And mm-hmm. what if it's the fight before that? What if he there's a lot of that there's a too? lot of people who have arguments. Yeah, there's a lot of guys. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's, it's tough. A, to me, it's a shame too because I'm a TJ fan and mm-hmm. I, I think he's a phenomenal fighter and uh, I, I'm I'm a big fan of watching him perform, um, but just it taints his legacy. It just does. There's no way around it. When when you get caught cheating, which is this stuff is there's no way it's not cheating. I mean, this is just cheating, mm-hmm. right? I mean, this isn't any accident. It's, it taints your legacy. You right, yeah. And the guy had an amazing legacy, you know? Two-time bantamweight champion, one of the best pound-for-pound fighters. The way he beat Hen and Burrell, I was like, holy shit. So he went out and fought Hen and Burrell like he was sparring with Right, him. yeah, yeah. His stuff, the stuff, some of his fights were amazing. He's amazing. And, yeah. It doesn't take away from the fact that he's amazing. TJ's an amazing fighter. But fuck, man. To, to test positive for EPO in the Henry Cejudo fight. And it was also crazy to watch the progression, all the work he did and mm-hmm. how much, you know, he was getting better every fight until so he focused. became this, yeah. But you got to think, like, how much, like, if you're on EPO, how much does that really allow you to train extra time? How much does that allow you to recover? What's the benefit? Like, what is the quantifiable benefit? It must be pretty significant because there's a, a lot of, you know, the cyclists, a lot of, a lot of heavy-duty endurance athletes use it. Yeah. I almost want to try it. You know, they, they say that these uh, executives mm-hmm. are trying it. They're doing EPO and uh, entering into triathlons and shit like that. Really? For bragging rights. Yeah, just assholes. Assholes <laughs> with money are taking EPO. Like, really, I was reading the thing about an epidemic of... Uh, um, really, it boosts you that much. Like, okay, you're going to take it and you're going to notice that you're able to, like... Like, the other day, you could barely finish a roll, a loop around the Rose Bowl, a three-mile loop, and then you start taking it and you can get, what, five, six miles in. I wonder... I wonder. I think what it does is it raises your threshold if you're already an elite endurance athlete, too. I think for them, that's what it is. It's like they're already looking for that extra edge. So they're already an elite endurance athlete. They're already in the Tour de France. And then they take that APO, and it's like, well, what? Just, mm-hmm. just jacks them up. They could just do more work. They have more oxygen. They don't run out of juice. And for a guy like TJ, his style is so kinetic. There's so much movement, explosion, switching mm-hmm. stances. Like, he needs that juice. It's not like a, a calm, easy game where he's, you know, everything's fast, 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 fast. It's crazy. It's hard. It, it's it, it's a hard one to swallow. Yeah, man. So for me, like, I was like, man, I was going to come on Joe Rogan's show. And let's see, what was he t- could he talk about to make me uncomfortable to talk about? Uh, maybe some hard stoppages. Man, I would talk about some hard stoppages. <laughs> 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 Give me, what's the worst? Well, well, let me talk about when I made a mistake. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> you don't want to no, talk about I, No, EPO? I'm just being, because yeah. I have no answer for it. Yeah, I don't understand. Either. I just like, all I'd want to like, it just doesn't feel like a good conversation because all I could do is just, it just get, like you said, it's just going to take away from, what I've seen of as, and then the more I imagine about it, it's just going to be more takeaway. And then anything I could say or think about, I can't think of anything that's solution or, or it's just, mm. yeah. 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 I don't think anybody, I mean, I think we're in this stage right now where they're probably looking at the data going, okay, what does this signify and how many more people should we test? Mm-hmm. You know, once once they develop a new method of testing, that's the whole reason why they want to keep the old samples anyway, in right. case new, more sensitive methods of detection right. are invented. And you know about this stuff because yeah. I know that you you're a science freak and you're a science, you especially nerd. yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm a dork, dork, especially when it comes to uh, anything that can enhance the this life that we have mm-hmm. on this earth. So yeah, I'm sure you know a lot about this stuff. Well, I've had a. A really um, amazing conversation with um, many people about it and uh, David Sinclair was one of the more recent ones who did uh, this discussion about life extension and, mm-hmm. and different uh, anti-aging uh, solutions and different things that they're coming up with but what I've come through with is at the other end is there are probably hundreds of thousands of people that are involved in either legitimate supplements or legitimate molecules or t- 
testing hormones on people or you know trying all these different things to try to figure out how to get the body perf- to perform better. Mm-hmm. Some of them are legal and some of them are illegal. And that's where it gets strange. You get like the guy, like the Balco guy, right, right. Victor Conte comes along. It's like, look, I got one. You just rub it on. No one's going to uh-huh. know shit. They don't right, even know right. what this stuff is yet. Uh-huh. And for a while, yeah, that worked. And, and then, but but then while it, but yeah. while it worked, everybody's like, hmm, why is Barry Bonds getting so big? You know, people just started wrecking. Like, hmm, come on, man, look mm-hmm. at me, Sammy Sosa. Look at me in the eye. What are you doing? You know, and they all they all like exhibited these obvious physiological changes where that you could tell that mm-hmm. whatever they were doing was really effective stuff. There's hundreds of thousands of people working on that right now, all the time. Right, all the time. Trying to get it better. There's probably thousands of people that are trying to come up with stuff that sneaks past this testing. 